Congratulations on choosing Weatherables, where the only thing stronger than our products is the service that comes with them. At Weatherables, we know that the best products start with the best materials, which is why you can be sure that your fence is made of the highest grade materials to create the strongest, most durable, and low maintenance product anywhere. In this video, we'll walk you through the proper installation of your Tremont privacy fence. Let's get started. First, set your gate posts with the aluminum inserts, being sure to allow enough space to accommodate both the gate panel and the gate hardware. You'll also want to allow a clearing of at least two inches between the bottom of the panel and the ground. This is a critical step since the gate will set the height for the rest of the fence. After marking the locations of your fence posts, begin digging the post holes for the panels. A 5x5 five five inch post requires a 30 to 36 inch deep hole 12 inches in diameter. Now you can start by installing post A in the first hole with concrete around the post. Be sure to level and plumb the post for proper placement. It's important to have post B sitting in the adjacent hole, but not cemented so you can adjust alignment. Next. Slide the bottom rail, the one with the aluminum insert, and mid rail into the routed holes in post A. Now it's time to insert the pickets. We recommend resting the bottom rail on a 2x4 to keep it a level 2 inches off the ground to make it easier to insert the pickets. Slide the first two tongue and groove pickets in between the mid and bottom rails. Continue sliding the first picket between the mid and bottom rails until it's approximately 12 inches from post A. Then, slide the U-channel into place before sliding the picket the remainder of the way toward post A until it is flush with the post. Leave the second picket in place near post B. Continue sliding the pickets between the rails until all of the pickets are in place. As you proceed, you'll always leave one picket at the beginning position. This prevents the rails from pinching and scratching the pickets. Install the remaining U-channel on the last picket so it will rest along post B. Then, slide the top rail into post A, making sure that the larger routed holes face the ground. Next, slide the bottom rail, followed by the mid and top rails, into post B. Pour concrete around post B to about 3 inches below ground level. Level and plumb. Center the pickets between the rails. If there's a small gap at either end, position the U-channels to cover any gaps. Repeat these steps for additional panels. After all rails are installed, insert the notched end of the spindles down through the routed holes in the top rail and into the routed holes in the mid rail. Finally, place a small drop of glue on the inside of each spindle before putting the picket cap in place. To complete the fence, repeat these steps for all additional panels. Before you begin the installation process, be sure to also watch the layout and post installation video. This fence can accommodate a slope if installed using the racking or stepping method. Refer to the installation guide to determine the exact slope your fence can accommodate and the best method of installation. For high wind areas, be sure to follow the additional steps provided in the installation guide. Thank you for choosing Weatherables. And when it's time to think outside the fence, ask about our railing and other outdoor living products to add even more style and function to your outdoor space.